welcome back to Camp Read A Lot, the place where we read books, sing songs, and keep the learning going all summer long. My name is Miss Laura. Can you tell me your name? I'm so excited that you made it back today. Are you ready to start our day off with a song? Come on, Miss Maria, the mail person. Let's sing. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Laura for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on friends for some learning and some play. Now Miss Maria, did you know that I have a secret message for my boys and girls to figure out? It's true. If you look around the room, I have some cookies hidden around and each cookie has a letter. That's right. And if you write the letters down, you can try to figure out what word the letters make. See if you can figure out today's secret message. Okay, Miss Maria, time to put you down. Let's put you down right here next to me and we'll go through everything we're gonna do today. So I have some mail from Miss Maria, and then we're gonna focus on a secret book. I have some clues that are gonna help us figure it out. Then we're gonna work on some compound words so that you can learn to read just like I read to you. And of course, we have a fun project that we're going to do today. I don't wanna give it away, but it's something with sugar, and that's always yummy. So are you ready to get started? Let's start off with our song, If You're Happy and You Know It, just to check in on how we're feeling. I'm going to stay seated for this one, but you make sure you stand up if you want to dance. Here we go. Yeah. First one's happy. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're mad and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. I'm mad. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. you're sad and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Confused and you know it, say I don't know, I don't know. Confused and you know it, say I don't know, I don't know. Confused and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Confused and you know it, say, I don't know, I don't know. Excited and you know it, say, hooray, hooray. If you're excited and you know it, say, hooray, hooray. Excited and you know it, then your face will surely show it. Excited and you know it, say, hooray. Last one. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, I hope that you enjoyed that song. I think I hear, is that Miss Maria? Oh, she's ringing the doorbell. I think we got some mail. Let's see what Miss Maria left for us today. Now we're going to start to read. Do you remember what side we read on? That's right, we go to the left and slide to the right. Let's sing our song. This is the left, this is the right. When we read, we start at the left and slide to the right. It says, Dear Miss Lara, do you like cupcakes? Ooh, I do. Do you like cupcakes? Chocolate's my favorite. One cupcake led to a trip to the beach for me. Ooh, that must have been a magic cupcake. I've eaten lots of cupcakes and never gone to the beach after. How true that one thing leads to another. What did you call that again? 
love our mouse friend. Do you remember what we called it when one thing leads to another? A consequence, that's right. Consequences can be good or bad. A good consequence is you have all the ingredients to make cupcakes and you make them, you get to eat them. That's something good. A bad consequence is if you don't clean your room and then you get in trouble, that's not such a good consequence. Now, I think Miss Maria left some more mail for me that's going to give us clues about the book that we're going to read. Let's see. I think she left a letter clue. Let me put that down. Ooh, this is a good one. Do you know this letter? It's the letter C. Ooh, our book must have something to do with the letter C. And then, what is this? A karate pad? that you use to punch? Is there karate in our book? How strange. And then she left other clues here. Let me pick them up. Ooh, a cupcake liner. We must be baking cupcakes in our book, but karate? That's unusual. Ooh, we have some more strange things. Sprinkles, okay, and sunscreen. Sprinkles, sunscreen, karate, one more thing. Let's see, last thing here we have is a rock. Rock, karate, letter C, hmm. Let's see, sunblock and sprinkles. Cupcake liners, what could this book be? Let's take a look and see if we can figure it out. Who it is, da 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 da. If you give a cat a cupcake, it must have all those elements in here. Now, we've read lots of books by this author. Her name is Laura Numeroff. She writes the words, doesn't she? It's illustrated by Felicia Bond. That means she draws the pictures. So we're going to read this one that's similar to if you give a mouse a cookie. Let's turn to the first page. Oh, there's a little girl in this one. If you give a cat a cupcake, he'll ask you for some sprinkles to go with it. Oh, that was one of our clues. When you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. Oh, I think he makes projects like Miss Lara does. Messy, messy, messy. Cleaning up will make him hot, so you'll give him a bathing suit. And look, he has little tiny sandals. Oh. And take him to the beach. <laughs> He's floating on top there. He'll want to go in the water and build a sand castle too. Then he'll look for seashells. He'll find a few other things as well. Now, if you pick up this book and read it with your family, you'll notice that he finds all kinds of things in here. He finds a plane, a hat, there's a little boat, even a piggy bank, a brush, all in the ocean. Goodness me. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it'll be too heavy. Can you help me try to pick it up? Pretend you have a pail. Ugh. Ugh. Yep, too heavy. He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. <laughs> then he'll lift a weight or two. <laughs> he might even try a karate class. Hi! That was one of our clues, too. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go. At the top, he'll see the lake. He'll want you to take him rowing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. He'll be the captain and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and of course he'll want to go for a ride. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum and he'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. Then he'll visit the Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, 
You'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll help gather up all of his things. Then he'll want to race you. Come on, let's race. When you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. Oh no. Seeing the sand on the floor will remind him of the sprinkles. He'll probably ask you for some. What do you think he's going to want after the sprinkles? Can you take a guess? Chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with them. The end. What did you think, boys and girls? Was that a silly story? And it included karate, sprinkles, cupcakes, and rocks, didn't it? Now I hope that you check out the story on the Sora app or at your local library so that you can read it with your family. So now we're going to work on a skill that's going to help you learn to read because I love reading you books, but I can't wait for you to read me books. We're going to work on what's called compound words. Now in our story, the title had the word cupcake. Now cupcake is a compound word. That means it's two words that come together to make a new word. So I have some pictures here and we're going to try to guess what word I'm saying out of two words. Are you ready? I'm going to say it kind of slow at first. It's going to go like this. Ear ring. Ear ring. What word am I using? Making. Earring. That's right. Ear plus ring makes earring. Let's see this one. Rainbow. Rainbow. What word is that? Rainbow. That's right. Okay, let's try one here. Butterfly. Butterfly. What does butter plus fly make? Butterfly. That's true. One more. Hot plus dog. Hot plus dog. What word do you think I'm making? Hot dog. That's right. That's compound word. So we have earring, rainbow, butterfly, and hot dog. Can you and your family think of any more? Well, right now, we're going to move on to a fun project that you can also do with your family. We're going to make some cupcakes. You didn't think that we were going to read a book about cupcakes and not bake, did you? All right, let's get started over here. Now, to make your cupcakes, you're going to use your favorite recipe. You can find lots of them online or in your family's recipe book. I'm going to use my favorite recipe, which is a shortcut, box cake mix. This one is white. Sometimes I like to make cupcakes from scratch, but other times I like to take a shortcut. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to pour this into the bowl, just like that. Pour it out. And I can tell you in just a minute what our recipe is. So we're going to need lots of ingredients to make our cupcakes delicious. And I'm going to show you a fun way that you can make them colorful too. Okay, looks like that's the mix. And if you look on the back of the mix, it has all of the ingredients or things that you'll need to make this a cupcake. You'll need some vegetable oil and three eggs. And it looks like you'll need to mix it all up and put it in the oven. So I have all of those things here for you. So first thing we'll need is three eggs. Now parents, Cooking, baking with your child is such an important way to support literacy in the home. First of all, it's very engaging. Your children will be really enthusiastic about helping you bake, and you get to eat something yummy afterwards. But following directions on a recipe um, also helps with comprehension, uh, with writing, because they have to do first, next, and last. Okay, so there's the eggs. Let's mix it up, put it in there. That's three eggs. Oh, I got a little yolk all over me. And then we need half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm actually gonna add just a bit more here. Let's pour that in. I wonder what vegetables make vegetable oil. I don't know, I've never thought how it's made. Maybe you could tell me. 
pour that in. And we're gonna add a little more if we need to. And we're gonna mix it. Now when you mix it all up, oh, you can see that the eggs start to break down and you get your batter going just like that. Oh, here it goes. It's starting to incorporate. That means come together. It might take me just a little while to get it together here. And I'll show you a fun trick to make them super delicious. Now my batter might be a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add a little more oil because I might not have added enough. Okay, it's coming together. Now what's your favorite flavor of cupcakes? I like vanilla. I love chocolate though. Chocolate is delicious. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. Here it is, a little thick, but it's coming. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is once you get your batter kind of together, you're actually going to make it super colorful because you know Miss Solara, it can't be simple. It has to be with sprinkles on top always. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my batter and put it into some cups. Now again, you're gonna follow the recipe that you have at home. This was the one that I had here. And you put it in there. I'm just gonna put a little bit just to show you guys. I have some clear cups here because I want you to see what I'm going to do. <laughs> gonna be delicious. Oh, I'm tempted just to eat the batter. You know, when I was little, I used to lick the batter from the spoon and my mom and family would always say, you're gonna get sick if you eat too much of that. And now as a grown up, I know why. There's eggs in there. Can't eat too much. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're gonna make the batter colorful. So I think we're gonna add, let's see, let's add a little bit of food coloring, like some yellow food coloring in this one. I think it's yellow. It has a yellow lid. Let's see what color it turns. It might be surprise color. Ooh, there it goes. <laughs> There's some yellow. Ooh, that's a lot of fun. All right, let's see. Can we make this batter a different color? How about red? Ooh, we're going with the warm colors. Let's do some red in there. Red, red, red. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Oh, there's the red. You know, my red always comes out pink. I'm so grateful that it's red today. There it is. So we have red, yellow. Hmm, what other color shall we make? How about blue? Let's mix some blue in here. All right, we're mixing some blue and I put quite a bit so you can really see the color. We're gonna mix it all up. Mix it now. If you want a book recommendation for mixing colors, there is a good book called Mix It Up that you can probably get in your local library. Now would be a good time to read it. Okay, now that we have all of our colors all mixed, we're gonna need our cupcake pan, just like this. And we're going to put some cupcake liners in there. So I'll show you. I'm gonna use some red ones, but you can use whatever you like. I'll um, put them in. I think I'll make three cupcakes just to show you. One, two, how many do I have left? One, two, oh, one more, three. Next comes the fun part. We're gonna make rainbow cupcakes. So we're gonna put a scoop of red in there. We're gonna start with that. Here we go. Put the red in. And each one and plop. <laughs> and let's try another one and plop. Come out, cupcake doesn't wanna be baked. It's like, no, don't eat me. You're too delicious, I can't save you. Okay, then we're gonna do the blue. Let's do the blue, gonna mix it all up. Here we go, in we go. We have red, blue, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Now what's really cool if you do end up reading that book, Mix It Up, it talks about mixing primary colors. And when you bake this, the red and the blue will combine to make purple. That's right. So you can be eating purple, reading about mixing up colors. And then the last one's the yellow. We're gonna plop it in there. 
All right, let's see. Plop. And last one. Plop. Now, if cooking with your family is so important, make sure you take a picture. Send it on over to me here at the station. I'd love to see your face and see your name. Okay, this is what they're going to look like. And I don't have an oven here, just to play one, but we'll put it in. We're going to pretend we put it in the oven, and I'll read the directions and say how long I need to put it in there for. Let's see, right here it says 25 to 30 minutes. And it'll be nice and warm, and it'll come out. So through the magic of TV, do 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 do. 30 minutes later, this is kind of a plainer cupcake, but I thought that we would decorate it with some frosting. I'm gonna make an ultra mega delicious cupcake and pretend I'm a cat and eat it just like in the book. Okay, so I have some frosting here. Now when you decorate, do you put just a little bit of frosting because I don't know how to do that. I like to pile it high. Look at this, pile it way deliciously high. Do you think we can add more? Like a mountain of frosting. Whew, there's more frosting than there is cupcake. <laughs> what do you think? Should I make it like this? Now, in our story, the cat is the one that wants a cupcake. Do cats really eat cupcakes? No, our story is a work of fiction. That means it's make-believe. This cupcake is just for us and we can pretend to be cats and eat it all up. Now I'm gonna add some sprinkles to it. Come on, sprinkles. Oh, I think these are fresh, brand new sprinkles. Ooh, nothing like sprinkles that are fresh and new. Let me give them a smell. Oh, sugary. Now I'm gonna sprinkle these on top and then We'll get started talking about what our day is going to look like tomorrow. More sprinkles, please. All right, here is our cupcake that I hope that you make at home with your family, boys and girls. Maybe you can work on creating your own recipe. Maybe your cupcake has swirls of color instead of dollops. So I hope that you try this recipe. For right now, before I get cleaned up, I think we'll sing our alphabet song and then we'll take some time to preview the text for tomorrow. So let me grab my letters here and we'll sing. A is for amazing, that's what you are. B is for brave, that'll carry you far. C is for caring and community. And D is for determined, be the best you can be. E is for empathy, caring for all. F is for friends, that'll catch you when you fall. G is for grateful for everything around. And H is for hopeful, there's more good to be found. I is for imagine all the fun things we could do. J is for joyful, how I feel when I'm with you. K is for kind to people and animals too. And L is for love, put it in all that you do. M is for mindful, be present every day. N is for nice words in everything you say. O is for original, always be you. And P is for persevere until you make it through. Q is for quiet, those bad thoughts. R is for remember all the greatness that you've got. S is for strong body and mind. T is for talent, why not make yours being kind? U is for unique, special and loved. V is for victorious, always rise above. W is for worthy and wonderful too. And X is for don't X out those mistakes, they're what make you you. Y is for yes, we're at the end of this rhyme. And that's the alphabet, and I'll Z you next time. All right, boys and girls, I'll tell you what we're going to do tomorrow. 
we have another mystery book, but I'll give you a clue. It's by Laura Numeroff, and it involves baking brownies. We just get to bake all week this week. Actually, on Friday, we're going to use ingredients to do a little painting. So we get to bake twice and paint once. Now, I wanted to take some time to remind you that in this week's episode, we have a secret word. I have some hidden cookies all around and I want you to take a piece of paper and write down the letters that you see on the cookies that I've hidden and they make a special word that you can share with me. All right, boys and girls, until tomorrow, Miss Lara is going to give you a big squeeze. Ugh, hope you can feel it all the way from TV land to you. And a big smooch. Mwah! Nice and slobbery. Ugh! And remind you to read and to play. And of course, use science and your imagination every single day. Miss Lara will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, boys and girls. Have a wonderful day.